सो लॉट ऑफ पीपल्स हैव इशूज विद बी जी के इट्स क्रैशिंग लाइक वेन यू आर लॉन्चिंग दी वेलोरेंट सडनली इट्स जस्ट क्रैश एंड आफ्टर क्रैशिंग देर इज नो अदर सोल्यूशन आर अवेलेबल ओनली यू नीड टू रिस्टार्ट यूर पी सी एंड देन अगेन वेन यू स्टार्ट दी वेलोरेंट अगेन इट विल क्रैश एंड यू विल सी ए ब्लू ब्लू स्क्रीन इन इन दैट केस there is two reasons one is your graphic card issue and the second one is might be your vanguard is uh, vanguard services are not running properly so first of all <coughs> just type here the ms config and then go into the services then hide all microsoft services once you have done this now here you need to find the vgc Now make sure the VGC is running. It's not disabled by your MS configuration, the system configuration. Check this. Hit apply. Okay, that's it. The second thing you can type here the services and go into the services list. Select any and then press S key. Once you type S, now here you need to find your um, service. sorry not s we need to find the vgc so just press v and you will get here the v now make sure it's on manual manual or automatic just go into the properties and here you should be it's manual or automatic but don't select the automatically delete start or disable now in that dependencies uh, sorry recovery modes just leave this and close it okay Now after this you can type here the cmd and run as administrator now you need to type here the net start vgk and see it's already started okay now the uh, second uh, thing if still uh, these methods are not working then you can simply uninstall your van card now vanguard uh, uninstallation process is simple just right click on the vanguard icon right click then more and then you can see here uninstall vanguard just click on it now this will completely uninstall your vanguard the services of your vanguard from your computer games that depends on its functionality will stop working so just click on yes once you have done this it will automatically uh, uninstall from your pc so it's installed and uh, your game will work now simply go here go into the settings and then go into the videos after reinstalling the vanguard now make sure if you are using nvidia and if nvidia reflex low latency option is available then on plus boost and the second thing make sure to run your game on low resolution as possible like the display mode should be the window um or the window full screen so you can apply these two whether might be this will work or this will not work working for you but apply the lowest settings as possible if still it's crashing then only the reason is uh, your graphic driver is not up to date so make sure to update your graphic drivers here is your graphic driver just right click on it and make sure search for automatically update now sometimes it's not showing over here so if you are using nvidia then simply go into the nvidia geforce the geforce um, experience it will show you or you can just search for here the drivers update just go into the driver sections and check for updates Right now, right now for me it's up to date it and make sure always install game ready drivers because it's optimized for your games. So that's it. If still it's not working, the last thing you can do here go direct x runtime. Simply type it on Google and you will get here the direct x and user runtime web installer. So simply download it and install it. you will get all the direct x version um from direct x 9 to direct x 12 all the updates automatically will be installed in your pc through microsoft sport that's it your problem will be fixed if still you are getting any issue then you can make a token or a token uh, submit a token on a valorant website see you in the next video till then just
Take care, Sal.